everybody, it's time for part two of the Wuppercal. And today, yesterday we did the first sleeve. <laughs> Still with this wobbly thing here. So we already did the first sleeve here. And today we're gonna add to it this bit here, this long part here, whoop, all the way up here. And this will be the back and front of our cart, you see, when we put it together like this. Okay, and Let's just get to it. This part is really easy and quick, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's go. Okay, time for part two. Now we're going to add the front and back side of the cardigan. So when you finished your sleeve here, you do not break your yarn. This is what we did last time. So here is the bottom part, and it goes slightly out here on the top. And here at the top, we have... Uh, when we're looking at it from the right side, uh, the front side of the fabric, then our our um, um, loop here is in the right corner. And we are going to fasten yarn here in the left corner and chain up here uh, to make the front side of the cardigan. Okay, so you're going to, going to need to take a new skein of yarn. You should have loads of those because we have lots of, lots of yarn left. And we are going to fasten the, the new yarn into the chain two here at the, at the beginning of the last row that we made, right? In the left corner when looking down on the sleeve from with the front side out, right? Okay, so here is our last, um, uh, what is called, a half top crochet. And we're going to find our chain here. It's here. Oopa and go into the second chain here and just fasten the yarn by pulling it through like so. And we are going to work 37 chains here. For the long version, it is 57. Okay, but we're doing the, the short one. So we do 37 chains here. And remember, as always, when we're chaining up in, in this sweater, we want to have it rather loose so that it will fit the rest of the gauge, okay? So we do 37 chains here in the left corner. One with the new yarn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as you can see, I'm doing it quite loosely because it is way better to have it even actually too loose than too too tight because then well it just doesn't work you have to have it loose if you feel it's difficult to have them even with uh, and making them loose you can go up a hook size also if you have a bigger hook what did i do 10 <laughs> 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-eight, 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 Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And maybe we should just count that before. <laughs> okay, so the first one's here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I have 37 chains and again look they are quite loose and you want to have them loose like this so that they have a stretch and will stretch with the rest of the fabric if you want to slouchy block it and just in general so so did you get that part of doing the loose <laughs> crochet police <laughs> okay and so now when i have my 37 hoop, uh, loops here done chains just break the yarn leave a bit of a tail and pull my my yarn through that last uh, chain here and and just tight pull it very tight we're going to, not going to be working into that last one okay there we go okay 
And now we go to the other side where we have our yarn fastened. Now I'm just going to tuck that extra ball of yarn that I took to do my chains away. And now we continue with the yarn that we have that we were working with. And we are going to chain up on this side as well. 37 chains. Again, this is what... Uh, 57 if you're doing the, the long version okay and again we want to do this quite loose okay so we do again 37 here on this side where we had our yarn fastened one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Nítján, nítján, nítján og tuttugu. Yes, yes. Tuttu eitt, tuttu tveir, tuttu þrýr, tuttu fjórir, tuttu fimm, tuttu sex, tuttu tuttu átta, tuttu níu, þrjátíu. 36, and actually the last two on this side don't have to be very so loose. You can do those a bit tighter. 36 and 37. So the last two, 36 and 7, you do just normally. <laughs> okay, and now we go for row one of the front and back side. Yeah. And we are going to now work uh, back all these loops, all these chains, and over the sleeve and into the other chains, right? So we're here, we're going to work up all these here, and then we're going to work over the sleeve and continue on the other side with the new, where we put the new yarn, right? And we now start by working the first half double crochet into the third loop, third chain from the hook. So again, remember, it's not the one, the one that's up on your hook never counts. One, two, and three, this big one. That's why I said don't do these two very loose because they're going to stand as the first half double crochet of the round, okay? Uh, now, it is good in this one, actually, uh, to try and go into the bump here at the back of the chains. You see? The bump here. Like normally when you would work into chains, you just go into here. You can do that, but it gives a better, um, neater uh, finish if you go into the bump here. This one here, you see? So if you look at them from the back, it's the bump in the back. We have a photo of this in the in the pattern as well. So we yarn over and we go one, two, three and turn them over and go into the bump here in the back. And we are going to work third, no, the first one here and then 34 more. So it's 35, 36 counting the two chains here, okay? And now we just go into each and every loop and I will have to find something to chat about because this is a very long row. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I hope you're all happily hooking along in our new crochet along. It's fun to do something new. I've done so many times blankets, but this is something totally new. And it is very much fun to do a wearable. It's better also for, you know, uh, showing off your crochet. You can obviously show off your blankets at home and, and you know, when you give them to somebody. But um, these you can wear outside and tell everybody how crazy cool and talented you are. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so what happens when we go into the bump is that we get these loops here completely, the chains here, which is better for sewing it together later. It's nicer. And it also gives a bit better stretch, okay? That's why I am asking you to go into the back bump 
of the chain instead of just normally. Do, 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 do. So yes, I'm sure that you are very psyched to finish your your Wupa Karti so that you can go out amongst people and show them your brilliant talents in crochet. <laughs> I do this too. This is what I do. I go out and like, yes, yes, I made this. <laughs> Okay, maybe I will, instead of chatting, just try and fast forward this then. <laughs> just one half double crochet into each and every bump, chain, chain bump. And we should have a total of 36 half double crochets plus the two chains when we get to the sleeve. Do, do, do. Okay, now it seems, it's better to see from the right side, it seems that we only have two more. I kind of uh, twisted it all here. Yes, we have two more stitches to go, two more chains to go, and then I'm going to count and see that it's all correct. If not, you can always just add one or do two together, like no problem. Okay, so the last one here is just in the back here. You see here, I see that there's just one left and then I just go to the back here. And this is the last one. And I was supposed to have how many watts? What was it, 35, right? Sorry, I'm checking them. Yeah, first one into the third and then 34 more. So it's 35 half double crochets plus the two chains. Let's count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, 8, 3, 2, 2, 4, 5. Okay, 35 plus the two chains. And now we get to the, uh, the sleeve here, what we were working on the sleeve. And we're just going to continue and work straight over the sleeve. And since I was doing the large, it's 44 stitches over the sleeve here. And we're working an odd number row and from the front. So uh, as always, then you, we're working into the back loop here now. Okay. So now we work 44 stitches over the sleeve. Just one into each and every stitch into the back loop because we are working from the front side. I trust that you have now gotten the hang of this special technique with the half double crochets. I've always really liked making garments from half double crochets. Also, they are so quick. A oh, whoopa! <laughs> I love how they're so much quicker than, than the DCs because it's just one movement. Whoop. It's not, you just get the yarn and then whoopa, you're through. It's very, very appropriate for this sweater. Get the yarn and whoopa. <laughs> whoopa. Okay, now I'm going to say to everyone. <laughs> but it does have a really nice sort of swing to it. I don't know what you guys are watching or listening to while you're working. I am between filming the stuff that I need to show you while I'm working on the, the other rows. 
I am watching Seinfeld. Oh my God, I love Seinfeld. Like I will just watch it on repeat. Like I, I watch the whole series and then I just start again. <laughs> like for mindless stuff. Great stuff. Unprecedented. <laughs> you could comment below and tell me what you're watching or listening to. Or what you do while you crochet. I will usually watch something, but it's I will watch something that I'm more like just listening, you know? Although this is like totally TV friendly project, but I will be sometimes I will listen to audiobooks and or just music. But uh, it's nice to to watch something too, and I'll just like I said, I'm just more listening to it. I just have it on my phone, so I'm just more listening to it. I know it by heart anyways now. <laughs> On we go, almost at the end of the sleeve here. And it's just good to, we're going to double check and count. Oh, I'm going to go just a few stitches back here and I'm going to work over my tail here from where we fastened our new yarn here at the end of the sleeve, right? So I'm just going to lay it. This is just another end here when I was changing skeins. So I'm just going to take my my tail here from where we fastened the yarn in the left corner and I'm going to work over it as I go here for the last few stitches. Okay. And the last one is supposed to go into the same one as we fastened the first chain into, right? Into the second chain here from the beginning of the last row of the sleeve. Okay, and how many was I supposed to have? 44. Let's do a count and double check. So this one was the last of the sleeve, right? So the... It's the one that is here before, okay. We start counting, see the stitch is before the the half double crochet, right? So we start here. Yeah, 44, perfect. Oh, this is all just going amazingly well. Okay, so now we have those 44 over the sleeve. And now we work 36 six, um, half double crochets into the chains that we just did here on the, the right side, with the, no, on the left side, sorry, with the new skein of yarn. And we're going to work into the bumps there as well. Okay, so it's looking like this, and I'm just going to twist it here to see the back. And here we go. Oops, I'm going to be sure that I'm... No, it's this one here. You see, here's the first one. Okay. And these are supposed to be 36. Because the last one we did 37, but the last one we were not going to work into, we, were, we just tightened it, right? So now we do these 36 here on the other side. So basically on this side, we're doing the front side of the cardigan and the other side was the back side. And always into the bump. Okay, I need more yarn. I love how it is like the 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 construction of the the cardigan is very simple so once you've made one of these then you like it's very natural to make another one 
and then it's easier to change your sizes and what have you because you know how it works and it's very it's an, a very simple construct if you will okay we're almost up to the end here few more to go but we shall count them also before turning Okay, I'm at the end. One more. There we go. And now let's count. How many was I supposed to make? 36, right? So this one here was the last one. Hmm. How was it? This one was the last one here into the, the sleeve. You see? Okay, so... Fjórir, sex, átta, tíu, tól, fjórtán, sextán, átján, tíu, tíu, tveir, fjórir, sex, átta, þrjátíu, tveir, fjórir, sex, no, I have 37, okay, so, mm, 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 before I unravel this last one, I'm just going to do the whole count, and so now we're supposed to have 30, 30, what was it, do, 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 Yeah, so it's supposed to be 36 on the first bit, then 44 over the sleeve, and then again 36, which is a total of 116 stitches for the large short, okay? 116. So I'm going to count the whole thing. Do, 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 do. Okay, and I'm going to 116. And so we have to count in the total the, the first two chains here. That counts as the first half double crochet, okay? We want 116. Okay. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 36, 24, 16. Yeah, okay, I have one extra here. Hmm, that was strange. But that's no problem. I will just unravel that one. And I will also unravel my last chain here. Maybe I went into like... The, a bit early in the first chain but anyways this is easy peasy to fix so I will just take out the knot here I did at the end and do like so and pull my tail just I just unraveled one chain here at the end so like so and just pull it through and tighten it nicely okay so now we have done 
row one of part two of the back and front sides and you're supposed to have a total of 116 stitches and it is impossible to film this <laughs> because it's just like a big wobbly thing with like these two it looks like an alien or a uterus or something i don't know <laughs> The alien uterus. Hmm, going well to know. Uh, so now we have done the all the foundation for the front and the back side. And now you just work the next um eight for no, the next seven is a total of eight rows for the this bit in medium or ten rows or large, which I'm doing, or if you want to make it wider, now is your chance. And you can just make it, you could just always go up two or four. You could do 12, 14, 16 rows here. You can do it as wide as you want, really. But again, if you're changing the sizes, it's always better to make one from one of the predetermined sizes before. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Just so that you understand how the anatomy of the, of the cardigan is. So now we did, I showed you how to do row one, and now you're just going to work back and forth, just like we did on the sleeve in rows two and three. So you know this already, I don't have to show you. Uh, I'm just gonna show you when I finish my 10 rows. So you, I'm gonna do nine more here now, and it's just back and for, for, front on this. This uh, I just turn here now, just to show you how we start row two. Just turn around with the uterus, alien, alien uterus. <laughs> And I do two chains as always, and just as the same. And now we're from the back side. Now we're working from the back side. So we're going to be working into the third loop. And I yarn over and we do the two together here in the beginning, remember? One, yarn up and go into the second one and yarn up. And we have four up on our hook and go through. And then just one into each and every stitch. Total of eight rows for the medium, total of 10 rows for the large, and you can make as many rows here as you want if you want to make the sweater wider. Um, I just keep going when I start, no, I have to stop. I'm gonna go and watch Seinfeld and do my, my nine more rows. And then you just turn at the other end and just go back and forth. This is very straightforward. There is a, you can, well, it's difficult for you to tuck this up. Let's just put it like that, okay? Just from the back side, you work into the third loop and from the front side, you work into the back loop as always. So total of eight rows now for medium, total of 10 for large, go forth and conquer. I'll show you once I finish mine, okay? Whoop, whoop, let's go, okay? So I was just thinking, I said that it was difficult for you to to um, duck this up, but um, just to be clear, so I don't either. Uh, so these, these rows, these total of eight or 10 rows here now, there is no increase, there's no decrease, just continue the same way. Uh, and, you know, the only thing that you should take care of is to cont um, have the same stitch count. So we want at the end of these 10 rows here that I'm going to do, I want to also have 116 stitches that's the only thing that you have to really watch out for but just to be completely clear this is a this is a just a straight straight um piece that we are doing now so 160 stitches back and forth uh yes go forth and conquer <laughs> okay so i've finished my 10 rows did just, what was it, like three Seinfeld shows? So that's like an hour. <laughs> uh, again, it's difficult to show the whole piece here, but this is what it looks like now. Maybe I can just, if I lift this, but then you'll see, okay. Okay, so now this is what it should look like. I was just gonna give you some measurements. <laughs> so that you could use that as guidance. Do, 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 do. So, oops, wrong end. This one here. So, from one tip to the other, and this is, you know, a bit of a rough guide because I'm doing it here without laying it flat. Do, 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 do. It 
is now measuring from one tip to the other. What like? And this is approximately uh, 125 centimeters, which is 49 inches. And from the tip of the sleeve and up to here, that's 49 centimeters or 19 inches. So this is then all done. Uh, I was just going to say that it is good to, while you're going, it's always good to just weave in your ends while you go. But even though I already did that, I will usually, you know, give it another. I will work over my ends, but then it's always nice to just take it for a bit in the other direction as well. Just do take care when weaving in your ends in this because we have this loose, loose gauge and you really just rather want them to be just always stretch at it like this. So they will go with the fabric and not be not be like um, holding it back once once we we uh, we um, block it, especially for the slouch blocking. OK, so I do re recommend after finishing each part to do your you weave your ends in. I'm going to do that too. No need to show you more of those though. Uh, what more can I tell you? I'm on my third ball and this one would be like almost halfway there. So I've done like two and a half balls in, in, in this piece by now. And yes, this was part two then. All done. Whip it away. And next up is the back of the sweater. Okay, on we go. Good luck, everybody. Mm -hmm.